Tony, how can estate agents differentiate themselves to convert more free vows into listings? Talk to me. It's, it's an interesting one, this, of what's your USP? Because we all know a unique selling point, and if, if it's not unique, it's just an SP, yeah? And a lot of my clients say to me, how do we, how do we differentiate? So my first bit of advice is ask your client, say to your client after every win, say I'm delighted we're doing business, but why did you choose me? Because that feedback is so powerful and so useful because that's how they see you, because it's all about the customer's perspective, not ours. And as long as we understand how our customers think. So I've got one client I work with that, that has a family business, a family heritage. And when the MD went back to them, so it was set up by the great grandfather, so it's gone down in, in, um, in the, through the family. And when he asked, why did you instruct me on your four properties, he's a landlord, the landlord said, I love the fact that you're, I knew your grandfather, and I love that you've taken over and the business has been over 100 years. And that the owner didn't think that was relevant at all. So now they make a big thing of it, and they've actually re, they've redone their whole office to have pictures of the original great-grandfather who set up, really beautiful black and white pictures of the family heritage, because that's important to certain clients. Mm -hmm. So had they not asked the question, they wouldn't know. So I think that's your first thing. But the second thing is, to, to be seen as different, you've got to do things differently. It mm -hmm. sounds obvious, most agents don't. So one example of this is, uh, uh, is look at, let's take it as a valuation. I, I call a vow the three Ps, your pre-vow, present the vow, post-vow. And the best chance to differentiate is on the first one, the pre-valuation. What most of my clients do is they do a very average phone call, this is before working with me, and then they send out a no, that, That's if even if they do a phone call. If they do a phone call, yeah, absolutely right. And, and then they'll do a very boring, generic HTML email saying, Dear Chris, look forward to seeing you at this day, this time, and that's it. Whereas the great ones will do an exceptional phone call, a, a, a eight stage and process. And that's the value when they are doing the actual phone call. Not always could be a negotiator. Yeah, you, you want to be able to train anyone in your company because that person is the CEO of the first impression. So you want to train anyone to, in my opinion, to take that phone call and wow them. But then it's about the confirmation process. And sorry, and this is a phone call. So this is a phone call away from the booking of the valve. This is the booking. So this is a vendor or a landlord phoning up the agent to say, I want you to come and see my right, property. Okay. So the way to differentiate is obviously do a great phone call. But what's that confirmation process look like? So what, what my best clients now do, and the ones who've taken my advice, is they do a hand-delivered envelope. They have an A4 envelope, which is the colour of their brand. So white doesn't get opened. So if your brand is red and white, use a red A4 envelope. And then you have five inserts, and this is the key. You have a great um, personalised letter confirming the appointment, but you've got to mention something the vendor said, so it's personalised. Do I meet the team? I want to see you selling my home. So have really good professional photos, biogs, make it fun and different. Then meet the valuer, meet the expert who you're going to meet. Have their biog, have some testimonials about them, and then have your pictures of any awards you've won. But then it's the two killer ones. The fourth is something like seven secrets to achieve the highest price for your property. So you give away your seven best tips yep. for free. But this is the best, and this is one that is the biggest differentiator. Ten questions to ask your estate agent. Because we know in this market, even if you're referred, they normally invite three agents yes. out for a vow, right? So what you're doing is you're arming that vendor or landlord with ten questions to get asked. And they have it on your branded paper, which is a kick in the nuts for the other agents. But more importantly than that, the questions you've designed are to highlight your strengths and your competitors' weaknesses. So if your agent um, is open seven days a week till 8pm, which is the best are, question one, how many days a week are you open? If your website, if your agent is on Rightmove Zoopla and maybe on the market as well, how many portals are you on? You know, if your fall through rate is 12% because you have amazing sales progression, the third question is, what's your average fall through rate? And what they'll find is their competition sometimes don't even know the answer. So the value is sitting there going, I think it's about 35%, I'm not sure. When you can say, we achieved 12% and this is how. So you're just arming yourself and you're positioning yourself in the best possible place to have success, really. So, so that's key. And I think the final 
part of that confirmation is video. Video is the way forward now, as, as I don't need to tell you. And um, I, I believe when, when you book the appointment, yes, the hand-delivered letter or put it in the post if it's too far, but if you can hand deliver it by the valet himself or herself, but do a very good video where you introduce yourself mm. by just 10 seconds of, hi Chris, I'm Tony, can't wait to come and see your home or next Wednesday, um, blah, 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 so it's personalised, mm. but then use this line. When I talk about how good I am, it's bragging. When my clients do, it's proof. And then you have a video testimonial from your one of your, not only one of your best clients, but who has the same situation as that vendor. So if it's a probate property, the vendor, the client is saying, we went through a very tough time, you know, losing my, my mum and ex-agent helped us through what was probably the hardest time in our life. Thanks guys. So you drop in the testimonial that's relevant to the situation. Correct. And the inserts that go in the envelope, when you have testimonials, you should have enough testimonials for the relevant situation. So, so all the be, doc, yeah, so you might have probate, speed, divorce. Sp uh, speed of sale, achieving, um, exceeding asking price, um, you know, whatever the scenario could be, so that when the vendor gets there, they bang on. Come back to the original phone call, any top tips on that? Because we can't use Yeah, them. I think, I mean, there's an eight step process, but if I share the two most important, if, if, if you can highlight that. One is, I'll be saying to that vendor, what is the most important factor to you when choosing an agent. And you've got to do that on the phone call because I need to know that as a valuer before I go out. Now, some vendors will go all about fee. You're gonna get that. Um, and I know we, we cover this in another video, but the, the quick tip on, the, on that, if, if you get that response, okay. is I appreciate your fee sensitive. But if all the agents you speak to have exactly the same fees, then how are you gonna choose one? And now, or, or what are you gonna then base your decision on? and then you'll get another thing out of that vendor. So I would say that's probably the most important question in the eight steps, or one off. but the second one, and this is key, and this is why a lot of agents lose instructions, is aside from you, Chris, who else needs to be involved in making the decision? Because if I'm not in front of the decision makers, my job's harder, because you might buy into me and you think I'm worth 2%, you think I'm great, then you've got to sell that to your partner. And if your partner says, are you mad, X down the road or 1%, it's very hard for you to sell me for that extra percent because you don't have my passion, you don't have my knowledge, and you, and you can't answer certain questions that the partner's going to ask. So it's to, therefore to eliminate that, you've got to be seeing both, or in probate sometimes more than two, you know, siblings, etc. Thank you very much, Tony. Pleasure.